Good evening, di machero, di madegwani. <laughs> di madegwani, I'm using those two greetings because tonight we are reading in English, so it's good evening. And then we are also reading in Chivenda, so it's di madegwani. Di machero, di ma no, what is it? In Chivenda is di machero, di madegwani, di ma... Hmm? Oh yeah, it is the Madeguani because the Macheroni, the Masihari is during the day and the Madeguani. So now I think it's the Madeguani. The Macheroni is in the morning, the Masihari is during the day and the Madeguani is in the evening. I think I got it. And I remember some time ago I did do the greetings and I got it right. Why am I doubting myself? <laughs> Why am I even doubting myself? So yeah, good evening, Mente. My name is Kujo Soafu, a.k.a. Miss Pax and Reed. I am here on this Tuesday beautiful evening to do our daily Monday to Friday live read here on Facebook featuring two books, one in English and another one in a vernacular language, one of the vernaculars in South Africa. So today we will be reading in Chivenda. All right, so you're going to learn a few words in Chivenda. And of course, in English, we're just going to have fun. All right. So yeah, before I start with today's read, I will carry on with my request. Guys, if you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who can I donate books this way, especially, especially in um, other languages other than English, please, please contact me. And so that I can sit here in front of you and indulge you <laughs> with new material that we would have gotten from um, people who will be contributing to Pax and Read. All right. So please, if you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who can donate books this way, please, it all would really, I would really, 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 truly appreciate it to get more books in Chivenda, in Setswana, in, um, in, 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 in Sibedi, you know, in Isindebele, Siswati, uh, Zulu, Isi Zulu, Skosa, um, Africans, you know, and this life rethinking multiply and we reach a wider audience. All right. So tonight I'm going to start with our da 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 English book. All right. Hey, Ria. And I also mm -hmm. see Hori. I think I saw, I saw Selena there. Hello, Selena. <laughs> and all the other people that are watching. Hello, 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 hello. De Madegwani. How's your Madegwani? Is your Madegwani good? My Madegwani is great now that I'm doing this live read to you. <laughs> so, right. So, tonight we're going to read too many carrots it's written by ian and barbara Hebert. this is tonight's read okay let the fun times begin kadok did not like eggs he did not like cabbage he did not like meat he did not mm -hmm. even like sweets i mean which kid doesn't like sweets it's kadok kadok doesn't like sweets so, Karak only liked carrots. He ate carrots for breakfast. He ate carrot for lunch. He ate carrot for dinner. Karak's mother was worried, and his father was worried too. You eat too many carrots, they said. You will not grow strong and healthy. But Carrot was not worried at all. Carrots are good for my eyes, he told his parents. Kadok was right about his eyes. Every day, they got better and better. At school, Kadok could see the smallest letters on the board. He could read them even if he sat at the back of the classroom. Imagine! Imagine! Huh? From eating carrots! <laughs> so one day, the teacher was writing a note. Simon asked Kadok, What is Miss Mbele writing? I hope it's not a letter to my parents. Don't worry, Kadok told him. She's just writing out her, shop, uh, her shopping list. How do you know? 
Simon asked. It's my secret, Kadok answered. Kadok liked to watch TV, but the TV set at his home was broken. He looked out the window. He could see the TV in the house next door. So he watched TV from there. Imagine! <laughs> Karot liked to play cards with Simon and Anat. One day, he could see right through their cards. Why do you always win? Simon asked. It's my secret, <laughs> said Karok. Soon, Karok would see into people's pockets and bags. Anna was in your pocket. He told Arnold. No, you don't, said Arnold. Kadok told him. You have two cents, a paper clip, two marbles, and a suit in your pocket. Arnold took everything out of his pocket and Kadok was right. How do you know? It's my secret, said Kadok. <laughs> One day, Kadok went to visit his aunt. He was on a bus. The bus stopped and two men got in. They were carrying heavy suitcase. suitcases. Karak could see lots of money in it. He could also see guns inside the man's pocket. <laughs> they must be thieves, he said to himself. He got out of his seat and walked to the front, to the front of the bus. Those men are thieves, he whispered to the bus driver. The bus driver drove the bus to the police station. The two thieves tried to run away, but the policeman stopped them. The driver said to Kadok, Well done! You are a very clever boy. But Kadok was getting tired of his good side. <laughs> he could not watch TV anymore. He could see right through the TV. Yeah, he could see the wires. I'm going to show you pictures at the end of my read, okay? But just imagine. Imagine seeing right through the TV. You're no longer seeing people when you are seeing right through the TV. <laughs> because you're eating too much, too, too much carrots. He could not read books anymore. He, he saw all the pages at the same time. So imagine you read in this page, right? And you've been eating too many carrots. And you could see right through, like, I'm, like, right through the page, right through. Carrots. Yeah. So he stopped reading books. One day, Karop began to see inside people's bodies. Oh! It was horrible! Perhaps I've eaten too many carrots. He thought to himself. At dinner, Kadok told his parents, I'm not going to eat carrots anymore. That's good, said his mother. I'm going to drink milk. Milk is good for my teeth. The parents was like, oh. Kadok said. And Kadok poured himself a big glass of milk. So Kadok is moving from too many carrots, eh, too much carrots, to milk. What's going to happen to him now? Can you imagine what's going to happen to, to, to Karok now that he's drinking too much milk, man? He's busy drinking milk. Remember with the carrots. I guess they say carrots are good for our eyesight. So he saw everything. He just saw everything inside people's pockets, inside their bodies, in people's bags. So imagine now. I get out of the, 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 <laughs> the milk is good for his teeth. So what's going to happen to his teeth? Is it going to grow longer, bigger, stronger? What's going to happen now that he'll be drinking too much, uh, a lot of milk? Okay, but anyway, just let your imagination run wild as I show you pictures of what happened to Karok as he was eating too many carrots. The, so there he is. I guess he didn't like meat, eggs or anything. And then he's busy eating carrots. You see? And then the mother is worried. And then look at the parents. are like, ooh, what are we going to do with this one? Hey. He's just eating carrots, carrots after carrots, carrots after carrots. Ah, but Yen is like, they're good for my eyes. So there he is in class, sitting at the back of the class, but he could see right through, even the smallest thing on the board. Huh? Too many carrots! See what carrots does for your eyes. And then now the teacher was busy writing a, a shopping list, but nobody in class could see the shopping list. But he, Yen Akadog, Kozu Jadi Kerozi, Ah, bona, ah, bona, ah, bona, ah, bona. No, muni worry ni, worry not. Don't worry. The teacher is just writing a shopping list. Has nothing to do with you and your stubbornness in the class. And then the TV set broke at his home, and he was like, "Ah, he with carrots in my pockets. There, 
I'll watch TV from next door. And there he is watching TV from next door. You see? Hey, my brother's child. And then he would play cards with his friends and would see right through the friends' cards. And he would win all the time. Do you think it was fair, Mara? Hi, this carrots eating business. I don't understand it. And he could see in his friend's pocket what he had. And he told them. And every time they ask him, how do you know? How do you know? He would just be like, it's a secret. It's a secret. But now his good eyesight came in handy when he was able to see thieves entering the bars as he was going to visit his aunt. You see, he could see that they have money and, 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 and lots of money and guns in there. And he thought to himself, no man, these people must be thieves. It can't be. And he went and he told the bus driver that he thinks those people are, are thieves. So now the bus driver drove the bus to the police station and the thieves were caught. You see there? And then they said to him, clever boy. But now he started getting irritated that he can't watch TV. So if he's watching uh, Sponge, SpongeBob SquarePants, he can't see Sp uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. He would just see wires and batteries mm -hmm. in the TV and everything that makes a TV, but not the people and the, the cartoons on the TV. So he was just getting irritated. As you can see, that he's just seeing the inside of the TV. So it was boring. It was really boring. And then now look here. <laughs> when he could see... <laughs> People's skeletons. So he no longer saw people um, as they were. Uh, like just how you are seeing me now. Imagine you're looking at me now. You're eating too much carrots and get too many carrots. You're looking at me now. And you don't see this beautiful afro of mine and this beautiful face of mine. You are seeing my skeleton. Would you want to look at me? And that is why he stopped eating carrots. It was like, I, this thing is just too scary. It's getting too scary. I no longer see my parents as they are. I see them as skeletons. Look there. <laughs> And then he stopped. He stopped um, eating the carrots in chinch and then decided, okay, I'm moving now. I'm moving away from carrots to milk. So because he's saying milk is good for his teeth, what do you think will happen now that all he will ever drink is milk? He will not eat anything but milk. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that his teeth will grow this big. You see, like rabbits. You see how 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 long and 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 big rabbits' teeth are. I think that the the teeth will grow this big. What else will happen? What does milk do to your body? Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. You'll tell me in the comment section. But I also want to ask you. Um. What with his strong eyes from the carrots eating? What did he see? What did he see? I remember he saw the thieves, the money in the thieves' bags. He saw the guns. He could see the shopping list. Can you add on? Can you add on what he saw? Please do add on in the comment section. Let's see if you are listening to tonight's read of the carrots. So what is today, what is your favorite food? Do you think it's healthy that you eat it all the time? That you eat one thing all the time. All you want to eat is just that one thing. If you like noodles, mm -hmm. do you think you all you do... Imagine if you, you eat noodles every day. You'll end up like a spiral like this. So as you walk, you'll jiggle. Go, 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 go. <laughs> just imagine. <laughs> so if you eat noodles all the time, what will happen to your body? It'll be like a jelly and it'll be like noodles. Hmm? You will walk like this. Because all you do is eat noodles all the time. And when you move from noodles to another thing, what are you going to do? How are you going to become if you eat? So I guess what we're also learning here is like you mustn't eat one thing too many times. We must just change so that we get all this nutrition from all these other food that we are important and that we are supposed to be eating. All right. Okay, we'll come back to this book. And our second read. Hi, Cabello. And everybody joining us. We will be reading Kariye Urenga. Let's go by. So in Shivenda, when you wanna say let's go by, you say Kario Renga. Angari. So let's let's read. Tendai Tendani Oya Wengeleni Name Nakad Nakoze Awe. Me awe. Uba nanga miroho bati genis bati zenisa mangeni. Bafarela ngeni. Uya Ae, vafare langeyi, unabagiwa maroto na keke. Tendani, usumba keke ya mabaebo. 
bafarela ngei ho na regiswa tsinama khotse awe ba ba mbo direnga na manchi ba mbo diferela ngei ho na rengiswa chi king zwi chumiswa zwa unwala na dzibuko vatsi king vatsi swika haeni tlahama ada khavo ngogu ngou kidima i'm going to try read that again i've been reading this book the whole day <laughs> just so i can get it right but i'm going to try read again okay and please do follow follow with me right then dani oya bengeleni na me na khotsi awe so then dani is going to the bengeleni uh, is the shops is the grocery shops ne with me this is me the mother and cozy it's the father i get cozy cozy me me awe ba nongela miroho ba tsitsenisa mangeni so me wa e me it's the mother ba nongela miroho ba tsi tsenisa mangeni so the mother is taking the vegetables and putting it in the trolley so trolley is mangeni ne ba farela ngeni uno begiwa maroto na keke tendani asumba keke ya mabebu ya mabebu so farela i think go jikela so they 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 went to the other aisle and then the uh, tendani saw the cake and pointed at the cake and this cake is a birthday cake so mabebo it's birthdays ne so sumba is khushupa mabebo so they went to the other aisle where they are selling um uh, confectionery stuff like your cake and your bread and then tendani asumba keke ya mabebo tendani pointed at the birthday cake All right ba ferela ngeyi uno rengiswa dzinama khotsi awe ba mbondi renga nama chi inchi so they went to the other aisle where they were selling meat khotsi awe it's the father bought the meat and plenty of meat so inchi it's a lot of meat so ba ferela ngeyi uno rengiswa dzinama they went to the other aisle where they are selling meat khotsi awe ba mbondi renga nama inchi the father bought lots of meat right and then vambo di farela ngei una u rengisiwa zwi chumiswa zwau nwala na dzibuku so here they went to the other aisle where they are selling uh, books to read and write you see and then vachi zwika haeni tahama ada kawo ngau kitima when they got home tahama i think it's the it's the brother came home running so vatsi swika hayeni tahama ada kawo ngau kitima so came kitima is to run so the child the the tahama i think it's tahama tahama i wonder how you say it in vend because i know the way it's written here i would say in sibedi tahama so i wonder how you say it in venda but tahama came home running so here it's just a trip to the store where uh, tendani um went with the mother and the father to the store and when they got to the store the mother took a uh, bought vegetables funny enough the vegetable that has been shown to us here look at it Carol, do you think Tendani will be like Kadak and and have <laughs> very sharp eyes? But yeah, so they went to the grocery store and then they saw carrots. I mean, they bought carrots. They went to the other aisle where Tendani saw the cakes, the birthday cakes. They went to the other aisle where the father bought lots of meat, and then they went to another aisle where they saw books. and i think no they didn't buy books they just said they went to the other aisle where they saw books and then when they got home tahama came running home 
right? So these two books are just telling us about um, two different stories. It's two different stories. Obviously, this one is an adventure of grocery buying. Have you been doing grocery buying with your parents during this COVID-19 or have you been staying at home? And if you have been doing grocery shopping with your parents, do you tell them to buy the same thing all over again? Have you been eating the noodles all these times? Or were you always requesting parents to bring different things so that you can have different nutrition? Uzoba strong, uzoba fit, uzoba healthy during this COVID time. Hey, parents, have you been buying your kids the same thing? The carrots all the time because you want them to see the future beyond coronavirus. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, so this is today's read. What we learned from this book is that we need to eat different types of food because just eating one thing is not good, guys. So try to eat different types of vegetables, different types of fruits, right? And just stay healthy. Just stay healthy. Don't eat one thing over and over and over and over again. And then what we learned from the store, we learned a lot of uh, Chivenda, of course, Mavingeleni being a grocery store, uh, Mabobe being a, birth, a, birth, a, a, a birthday celebration. So if it's Kekeya Mabobe, it's birthday cake. Um, we also learn Nchi, it's a lot in Sivenda. So N N Z I Nchi, it's a lot in Sivenda. So so we, we learn quite a lot of new vendor words. I'm going to save this video. So if you still want to learn new vendor words, you can just come back to me reading it. And um yeah, learn. And what I've also noticed with me reading is that sometimes before I do my consultation with friends and family members with regards to all these other languages, I go through a book a lot. And then as I'm reading it, I'm, I pick up, oh, this is what this means. This is what this means. And it's really fun. It's really stretching me. So next time, beyond Corona, and I'm sitting there and people are speaking in Chivenda. I'll be like, hmm, all right, maybe I will even add a word or two myself. So, yeah, during this time, I've been learning a lot in Chivenda. So, please, journey with me in this live read and let's learn together so that when we get out of this coronavirus thing again, and then we are there in school engaging. We can engage in different languages and just tell stories that we've been learning here at Parks and Read. So that's it from me tonight. From my heart, Miss Parks and Read to yours. Thank you for joining, Gabelo. Uh, Selena, thank you for joining, Rabe. So I see you there. And everybody who have joined this Tuesday live read, have a good evening. And I will see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Good night. <laughs>